So, yeah. we made a radio play. Uh, short. Guys, quite down. Sorry. It includes the voices of Will Cherry, Sam Sandweiss, Will Merrick, Ben Chance, Dylan Vesvikis, and Ari Mostov. And this is my card. Uh, it involves dread because after the guest gets murdered, all the other guests dread that the same thing's going to happen to them. It involves a person in costume because the assassins are dressed as mariachis. It involves a close shave because they come very close to catching the mariachis, but then they escape. It involves a murder because one of the guests is murdered. It's in a car because the first couple minutes of it take place in a car. It's involving a scam because the assassins dress up as mariachis to get into the motel. It's involving a trick because the assassins dress up as mariachis to get into the motel. It's involving a messy tangle because once the guests get involved, it gets very difficult to figure out what's going on. It's featuring a rebel because the main character thinks that he's rebelling against the, the system of his police department. It's involving a public performance because the mariachis are performing in public. It's involving body horror because a man gets shot and then has his organs, like, gone through. Uh, it's involving a misunderstanding because the guests think that it's actually the maid that did it. It's regarding absurdity ascendant because everything the guests do is absurd and ridiculous. It's involving idiocy because the guests are all idiots. It's featuring a chronicle because it's a chronicle of what goes on at the motel over the weekend. It's involving diligence because James Richardson tries diligently to figure out who committed the murder. It's regarding courage because he courageously keeps on with his investigation even after he can't find any leads. It's involving a twist because the killer is actually the mariachis. It's involving a sneak attack because the man that was killed was killed in a sneak attack. It's involving a seeker because he seeks out the... Richardson seeks out the killer. It's involving an escape because the killers end up escaping in the end. It's involving service because he's doing his service as a policeman. It's involving a hunter because he hunts for the killers. It's involving a sneak attack because the man was killed in the sneak attack. It features a narrator because Richardson narrates the action to the listener. Uh, it's involving a reversal because at first you think it's one of the guests, but then it's actually one of the mariachis who are just sort of a peripheral character in the beginning. Uh, it involves the trickster because basically everyone in the play disobeys normal rules and conventional behavior. Uh, it features an unwanted visitor because the mariachis are unwanted after they end up murdering someone. It involves an escape because they escape. Uh, regarding ambition, Richardson an, is an ambitious cop who wants to publish his book. It involves a Sisyphean task because trying to figure out who the murderer is while you're surrounded by idiots is a Sisyphean task. It's the same thing. Uh, right place, wrong time. Richardson is in the right place at the wrong time. He wants to go to the hotel so he can get some peace and quiet to write his book. Then he ends up there when someone gets murdered. It involves a fall from grace because Richardson was a good cop on the force until he accidentally shot the commissioner's daughter and then got kicked off. Um, it's featuring the sage because Richardson is trying to be the sage in this situation. It's involving a quest because he is on a quest both to write his book and to find the killer. It's including a harbinger of doom because the gunshot foreshadows that something terrible is going to happen. It's once again the trickster, people displaying unconventional behavior. Uh, involving the twist because the mariachis do it at the end. Uh, involving a hunter because he is hunting for the killer. Last of their kind, he sees himself as like the last idealistic and good cop out there. It's featuring an anti-hero because he's actually pretty incompetent as a cop. Uh, it's involving hesitance because he is hesitant to believe that the maid is the one that actually did it. It's featuring the muse because he goes to the motel and attempts to find his muse to finish his book. It's involving a seeker because he is trying to seek out the murderer. It involves a discovery because he discovers who the murderer actually is. It involves an elaborate ruse because the mariachis perpetrate an elaborate ruse in order to get into the motel. It involves a murder because they murder someone. It involves a person in costume because of the mariachis features the muse because that's who he's looking for. It regards betrayal because the customers in the hotel are all betrayed by the mariachis who are supposed to be there just for entertainment but end up murdering one of them. It involves an elusive quarry because the killer is elusive and he can't find him at first. It involves service because he's doing the service as a cop. A quest because he's on a quest to find the killer. It involves a rise and fall because he rose within the police force and then fell when he got kicked out for shooting the commissioner's daughter. It involves a crooked cop because he feels that all the cops that he worked with are crooked, and that's why he got kicked out, not because he shot the commissioner's daughter. It's regarding pride because he's a very prideful person who thinks that he's a very good cop. Um, it involves a moral dilemma because at the end he has to uh, decide whether to try and convince them that it wasn't the maid or to just let them go on with it. Uh, last of their kind because he thinks he's the last good cop. It involves a reversal because it's the mariachi at the end and not one of the guests. It involves a journey because he takes a journey to the motel. 
It includes an intermission because there's a break at the end of each of the acts. It involves a messy tangle because once the guests get involved, everything gets quite messy. It features a chronicle because it's the chronicle of his attempt to find the killer. It involves a two-hour wait because there is a two-hour wait between when he starts interviewing the guests and when he finishes and figures out who the killer is. It involves a contract because the mariachis were contracted to kill the person in the motel. It involves a cliffhanger because at the end of the first and second acts there is a cliffhanger. It involves a discovery because he discovers who the killer is. It's about a search for freedom because he's trying to uh, find the freedom that he needs to write his book. It's featuring a brotherhood because the mariachis are a brotherhood of assassins. It involves a cliffhanger. Body horror because people get shot and have their organs looked through. Involving diligence because he does a diligent job of trying to figure out who the murderer is. It involves a false assumption because the guests all assume that it's the maid, but really it wasn't. It includes intermissions, brotherhood of assassins, anti-hero because he's actually a very incompetent detective, partnership because the mariachis partner together to assassinate the man in the hotel. It involves a false assumption because they assume that it's the maid. It involves deceit because the mariachis deceive everyone in the hotel. Involves a seeker because he seeks out the killer. Involves an elusive quarry because the killer is elusive. It's about delusion because basically every character in this is deluded about something or another. Last to their kind because he feels he's the last good cop. Involves an interview because he interviews every single one of the guests. Involves a conspiracy because the mariachis perpetrated a conspiracy to get inside the hotel and kill the guest. Involves a hoser because all of the guests are losers. Uh, indivisible, we have people from every division except critical studies working on this. Uh, feels smooth because it's very smoothly edited. It's something completely different because it's the only radio play submitted in the game thus far that actually meets all of the requirements. And we're using Restore. And that's that. <laughs>